calling for change, a clarion call to the men of the United States Virgin Islands. Unveiling the pain, a personal tragedy shakes our foundation. As a pastor deeply embedded in the fabric of the Virgin Islands community, I address you with a heart heavy with pain and sorrow. Just a fortnight ago, my family experienced the wrenching agony of losing a loved one to gun violence on the island of St. Croix. This brutal act serves as a grim reminder that no family, not even that of a pastor, is immune to the senseless deaths that plague our Virgin Islands. Spiritual Crisis, A Descent into Darkness a chilling observation reveals an alarming trend in our community men are meeting their end either through sudden tragedies or violent homicides. In the realm of the spirit, our men are faltering. Our focus has shifted towards revelry in bars and clubs, juggling multiple relationships under the cloak of darkness. We must admit that the pursuit of power over women is not the mark of a true man, it's a manifestation of our spiritual deficit. Divine Design Reclaiming our true purpose. Dear fellow men, it's time to grasp the gravity of our divine calling. God has entrusted us with the duty to lead our families, communities, schools, politics, economics, and spirituality. We are meant to be the bedrock of our society, embodying stability, strength, and reliability. As fathers, brothers, and leaders, we must provide unwavering love, guidance, and protection. Society's Lighthouse, Embracing Transformation The foundation of our community rests on our shoulders. Yet, the termite-ridden foundations of masculinity marred by sin threaten to crumble the very essence of our society. If we don't change, if we don't return to the path of spirituality, chaos will befall us. Robbery, corruption, and death will prevail. Our economic and moral decay will continue unabated. A plea for renewal, nurturing a spiritual revolution. The somber reality stands before us men of the Virgin Islands are perishing at an alarming rate. Without spirituality, salvation, and identity in Christ, we are adrift in a sea of darkness. No longer can we allow our brothers to rest in funeral homes, void of spiritual guidance. It's time to rekindle the flames of faith that once burned within us. Rediscovering our roots. A call to return. Men of the United States Virgin Islands, hear this call echoing across the islands. We must return to our spiritual roots, reigniting the flame that once guided us. Our journey began in church pews and Sunday school classrooms, but we have strayed. It's not a sign of strength to sever our connection with God, it's a manifestation of arrogance. We need God, our families need God, and our community needs God. A beacon of change, forging a new path. Only regenerated men can usher in a transformation, within our families and across our community. We are entangled in webs of drugs, violence, rape, and darkness. But remember, where there is no God, there is moral decay. It's time to discard our reprobate minds and embrace the light of righteousness. Rekindling our faith, a path forward. My plea to you men of the United States Virgin Islands, is simple yet profound, embrace change. First, surrender your life to Christ. Second, let go of sin's grip. Third, entrust your life to God as your Savior and Master. Our community hungers for honorable, trustworthy, and godly men to lead the way. Let's rebuild our society on the foundation of faith, hope, and righteousness.